Hello everybody, uh, my name's Fred Parker. Um, I live in Rutherglen, have so for the last 14 years. My business is Parker Pies and basically that's what we do, is make pies. Currently at the moment we've got around 24 varieties. I think our forte is basically some of our more exotic ones like you know crocodile in a crab meat and sweet chilli sauce or kangaroo in a creamy mushroom and caramelised onion. Um, buffalo, bacon, onion and garlic wrapped in golden pastry. The list goes on and currently we've probably got a couple of hundred awards for baking pies and probably four or five of those has been judged the best in Australia. Moving to Rutherland was a bit of a life changing experience for us. We came from a small town very similar to this. Yeah, we leave the keys in the car and no, you're not meant to, you leave your house unlocked at times. It's, it's a great community to be part of and they make you feel very much at home. The tourists come, we've got uh, a great tourist trade, but without the local people, we wouldn't have a business, to be quite honest with you. They've helped us grow it from very, very humble, small beginnings to where it is today, and we certainly like to give back to the community. Um, we've found ourselves in the past, and, and at the moment as well, have been the major sponsors of the uh, hockey club, uh, currently the major sponsors of the Rutherglen Football Netball Club, and I think if you're not going, to, not willing to give back, well, your success or your time in the community is short-lived. We'd like to think that this business is here for ten generations, like some of the wineries. That's providing the children, our kids want to take it over, and you know. That's <laughs> yet to be seen. You've got to love what you do, and I love what I do, I honestly do. My name's Peter Ellis. I'm a watchmaker. I run an owner-operator business here in Rutherglen. And uh, I'm passionate about all things in the horological field. Horology is the art and science and study of time. It comes from two Greek words, horo meaning a passage or a part of time, and ology meaning the science and study of. I got into watchmaking as a young child, and uh, since then I've been tinkering with watches and clocks, and I couldn't stop. Once you're, once you're bitten by the bug, well, that's it. I continued on and made it a profession. We moved to Switzerland, my wife and I, in 1989. I then went on to do the uh, Vorstep School of uh, Watchmaking, which is the Watchmakers of Switzerland Training and Education Program. After some 16 years in Switzerland, we then moved back to Australia. We set up here in, in Rutherglen, and uh, pretty soon I had people knocking on the back door looking for watches and that to be repaired, so all the tools came out of storage and uh, I started work again. It's a great town. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, you go down the street, you'll always find someone to say hello to, hi to, how are you going? Not all towns are like that. And the atmosphere here in Rutherglen we find is absolutely fantastic. trying to keep the, the true art of watchmaking alive in Australia. Other people, of course, will follow me. I'm not a pioneer, I'm just someone following what I believe to be uh, the true line of the work. I feel it's 
what I owe to the craft. I'm Pauline Collins and I've lived in Rutherglen all my life. And I'm Agnes Lynches and I've lived in Rutherglen for four years. The store's been open since the 1st of April 1998. We first opened on the other side of the street, sponsored by the Rutherglen Chamber of Commerce, who helped us get started. And we've been here six years and it's really, really great. I spend about 20 hours a week working at the craft store. Supply the change every day for the girls. Um, all their bookwork, make sure the place is kept clean and there is a lot involved, but I have a good group of helpers. Marge has and I do a lot of knitting. I do baby knitting, baby jackets and all, and I would sell some stuff for my mother who does all these other jumpers and she's 94. I think Rutherglen's a lovely town. It's, it's, it's a quiet town and it, it's a pleasant town and it's lovely to live here. Well, I've got to say I love it because I've been here all my life. <laughs> and we went for a holiday only a couple of years ago and I couldn't get home quick enough. We do help the community. They have, um, the SES have their bowls night and we always give vouchers for that. And to anything that's you know, that needs help, we're always there. Because I think it helps with the business. I mean, if you help someone else in the community, they're always going to come back to you. Yes, I, I do all this knitting here. I thoroughly enjoy my knitting. I think it's a great pastime. I do also footy bears, which are over there on the tree. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> we have so many visitors in here. It's really, really lovely. And you get to meet some lovely people. They come from everywhere, America, England, Queensland. When they come in, I could be sitting there and, and then you get to start talking with your customers and then you ask questions, you find, you know, where are you heading to, where are you staying? And they will get into a conversation with you over these things as well, yes. The community has been very good by purchasing our goods and to keep us going. You never hear anyone go out and say that it's not nice. Oh no, they're always so pleased that the, and they, always say that they're going to come back. And they do too, don't yeah. they? Yes, a lot of them do come back. I'm Gary McCloskey. I've lived in Rutherglen for most of my life. Uh, I've got the, the keg factory, which is a small cooperage in Rutherglen, uh, making little port kegs, cheese boards, tubs, whatever you can think of out of an old barrel. Uh, and also do the maintenance work for the local wine industry. And when the keg factory opened up in Rutherglen, they were looking for someone local with a bit of, bit of experience in coopering. Well, a cooper is the person that produces and makes your barrels, uh, so machines of timber, sets a shell up. We actually fire the insides of the barrels to draw your, your oak flavours out. Yeah, basically make wine barrels. Oh, the Rutherglen community's been great, uh, very supportive. Most of what I do here is tourism, so we're bringing people into the town. Uh, we're getting people from all over the world. It's uh, just a unique experience. Come into the keg factory and watch a cooper at work. There's not too many places you can see that. Oh, the wine industry is a big part of Rutherglen. There's quite a few wineries in the area. Attracts a lot of tourism to the town. Uh, it's probably almost the lifeblood of the town. There's not too many people in the country coopering, so it's just something a little bit different. Uh, working with timber is, uh, is a good feeling, uh, satisfying at the end of the day to, to see what you've actually made with your hands. My name is Gordon McKinlay. My wife and I, Helen, moved here in 1974. We bought a house in Rutherglen and um, we started this business in 1976. When I was preparing the premises, 
the local came in and he said, uh, what are you doing, mate? I said, oh, I'm preparing this for a car business here in Rutherglen. Jeez, he said, a car business in Rutherglen? He said, do you reckon that'll work? And I said, well, it better, mate, because otherwise we'll starve. There would be few car dealers that would be more passionate about cars than what I am. Most babies, their first word is mum or dad. Uh, legend has it that mine was car. We're really from a farming family, but uh, my dad and his brothers grew up with the motor car and uh, the teachers were amazed at how quickly I learned to read. And It wasn't from any great scholastic um, ambitions, it was just so that I could read my brother's motor books. Some of these signs uh, I've been collecting since I was a teenager. Back in the early days, you know, you'd find them on sheepyard fences, or stuck away in the corner of an old garage, but now, of course, uh, everyone wants them and uh, they're highly sought after, but I don't want to sell any of mine. From a local perspective, Rutherglen is a very good place to operate a business in a way, because it's sort of the hub of the wheel. You have Albury, Wangaratta, Wagga, Shepparton, Chuka, uh, Beechworth, Myrtleford, all those places, you know, within uh, quite an easy distance, really. And uh, another aspect that Helen and I love about Rutherglen is the people. They're a pretty stoic lot, a lot of the families around here. They battle through the good times, the droughts, the locusts, the bushfires. They're really no-nonsense people. They're hard-working people and uh, they just get on with the job and uh, they're just great people to be around. Thank you.